It's hard to believe, but there was a time when I thought I would never be able to goof around with my twin girls ever again. You see, I have rheumatoid arthritis, and even simple tasks like getting dressed, taking showers, or opening doors can be challenging for people like me. Thankfully, there is a medicine that, along with a healthy diet and exercise, has kept my RA under control. But I had to fight to get where I am now, and no one should have to do that. When I was diagnosed with RA three years ago, my doctor wanted me to start on a new medicine. My insurer said no. I first had to fail to respond to three other medicines before they'd even consider paying for the drug my doctor prescribed. And each time I switched drugs, I had to see my doctor and get a bunch of tests. None of the drugs worked and only made me feel worse. I had to stop working and went on disability. My husband had to take a part-time job so he could help with the twins. We applied for Medicaid, and I had to play the fail-first game all over again. I can't tell you how depressed I was. Then, to make matters worse, Medicaid stopped paying for this medicine in favor of another one that was cheaper and, according to them, would work just as well. If I wanted to stick to the drug that was working, I had to pay for it out of pocket. Thankfully, I found a program that covered the entire cost of my medicine. I started to feel better in a few weeks, and after six months, my RA was in remission. I was afraid to go back to work because I didn't want to lose my freedom from RA. What if my new employer didn't cover my medicine after my assistance program ran out? After doing some research, I found that insurers and PBMs only cover drugs that give them the biggest discounts instead of covering what is best for me. I was devastated. To make matters worse, this savings is not passed on to consumers who still have to pay a big chunk of the retail price. This just didn't make sense to me because I was able to pay less for the drug that worked than for the different medicines my PBM and insurer covered. I know the list price of the drug is high, but even at this price, my medicine is a drop in the bucket compared to what my health plan spends each year. And that's not counting how much it means to be healthy. When I'm in remission, I'm working, paying taxes and premiums, going shopping, traveling with my family. I even enjoy chasing after my girls. It seems like PBMs and insurance companies were forcing me to get sicker so they could make more money in the short term. No one, especially people battling diseases like RA, should have to beg or crawl through hoops to get the medicine that keeps them healthy. Staying healthy should never be decided by a cost. Visit PatienceRising.org today.